All right, uh, how, how men have ruined the dating experience for women. Well, let's go ahead and play a video. Again, I haven't said it. They have said it, and they have decided to start a few things, decentering men, all right? Uh, some of them are getting humbled out here. Some of them are complaining about why men don't do this, why men don't do that. Some of them are cutting off their husbands from sex. I'm going to have to find the video because I got it not out of order here. Okay, we got it right here. Okay, I got it right here. So we got a lot of Millie Mouth muskrats. Just to let you know, there's going to be a lot of mayonnaise on this segment. Lots of mayonnaise. I mean, this woman makes my stomach hurt looking at her. All right, but uh, that is neither here nor there. This woman's going to have 60 seconds to say why hookup culture is toxic and how men have taken advantage of women in hookup culture. Is anybody else just over this hookup culture it is hookup culture it's going to be a rant i think that hookup culture is a way that we've reframed casual sex and low effort dating that benefits men and women are taught that it's like sex positivity but it only benefits men because what it sees is women participate in a culture that makes them feel like shit about themselves most of the time that benefits men and the way they want to have sex without ever asking us for our needs or what we like or what feels like pleasure for us and i think that women are pretending to like it 80 percent of the time i do believe there's women in my life that actually do enjoy it and get benefit from it but in my experience it has empowered men to treat women poorly and ensure that we don't ask for more and end up in things like situationships which are born out of hookup culture and women never feeling like they can ask for what they want in the bedroom and never ask for their emotional needs to be met and all men get is the sort of like vulnerability and intimacy they want without commitment and low effort dating culture which is so bad in australia so hookup culture is a no from me raise the bar it is absolutely in hell what that mean Oh, boy, this is going to be difficult to break down. This is too tough. Uh, I might need whole math on the job. Do we have any whole math, whole math sketches? I'm pretty sure whole math have sketched this out. All right, I should have done my research. Bruh. This, this, is, this, is not, this is mind-boggling that she can arrive at this point. This is just a lack of self-awareness. Where do I start? Gentlemen, where do I start? I mean, there's two. I can break down every sentence. You heard the whole video. We got to break this down to, to every single point here. Silence, you fool. There's no way in the world that she believes this. And she's saying Australia is a thought culture. Let's go back. I mean, there would I, this would be a five-hour stream. that She cannot possibly believe what she talked about. Now, she can say it. She might believe it, but no, nah, no. Nah. The topic I've got. All right. Mm, my goodness. This is a. Uh, anybody want some mayonnaise tonight? All right, here we go. Few is hookup culture. It's going to be a rant. I think that hookup culture is a way that we've reframed casual sex. And All right, let's start right there. <laughs> I think hookup culture is a way that we've reframed casual sex. No, that's you. And that's you. Yeah, see, we had empowerment. We had body counts don't matter, uh, sex positivity, uh, LGBTQ. We've also had body positivity movement, uh, slut shaming marches. These are all these are all majority women that have brought that to the dating marketplace. Um, hookup culture, Tinder, right? Tinder swiping, women dating, serial daters. Women are the mostly the serial daters, not men. Women serial date, and Saying that withholding sex, um, basically saying that uh, you don't have to wait for premarital sex. You got rid of God and religion. This is all women. And that's you. This is all women's doing. Now, what have men done? 60% of men doing nothing. 30% of men virgins in the age group of 18 to 30. Now, if you put that numbers up, you got no fault divorce, women. This is all women. So that means there's more women on the dating marketplace. More women are joining the dating marketplace, rejoining, getting married, starter husband, women. Starter husband, women. All right, so they're divorcing men coming back out here in the dating marketplace. It's not men doing it. It's 80% women. They're, I'm doing it for a reason. Okay, you're divorcing and re-entering the dating marketplace. Then feminism, equality, looking for partners, 
$100,000 a year or more. This is mostly women. Mostly men have not even touched hookup culture. Mostly men have not even touched it. Yes, then when you get to Instagram modeling, um, objectifying themselves for sexual uh, attention, OnlyFans, getting flown out, getting access to the top tier men. We're talking about men. Okay, what did men do? Okay, again, 30% of men, no sex. And if you include that 30% and go up to the next one, 60% of men not getting, not even interested in the relationship. High divorce rates for men who got married and dumped back out in the dating marketplace. A lot of them guys don't have the money. So again, without doing the incel statistics here, 30% of men are the ones out here getting the action. That's just starting right there. It's only 30% of the men. But we can also insinuate and deduct that 80% of the women have participated in some of this shit. Flying around, going on girl trips, backpacking through Europe, studying abroad, having a Me Too movement. I've been sexually harassed. I had a manager. I used to take him back into the back of the bank vault, and I used to drop that neck. We're seeing that the majority of the women are participating in this hookup culture. The majority of the men are not. They're not. Also, women can have men that they date and also men that they fuck at the same time. <laughs> like, yeah, foodie calls. This is mostly women perpetrating this. So she's saying hookup culture is men so far. It's a culture that what uh, um, um, says casual sex. But we've already, we can already deduct that this is mostly women participating with the small percentage of men. This is too easy. But, but let's continue. I mean, this is just getting started. And low effort dating that benefits men and women are taught that it's like sex positivity. But There we go right there. Okay, so low effort dating benefits men. Mm. Low effort dating benefits men. Hold up. So the men that keep paying for dates and get tapped out financially and don't get very much pussy and they give up, but she keeps raising the stakes on, you got to do this, you got to take us out, you got to do this. And the guy says, coffee date, park date, low effort date. Why? Because we're aware that women are serial dating. We showed you videos of women saying, okay, in 2023, I dated 47 guys, 47. Now ask the average man, how many women that he's dated? The average man, not the t Chad, not the man that every woman wants. Ask the average man how many women he's dated in the calendar year. Then ask the man how many high-end dates he's taken those women on. The guy may date eight women, four, six. Okay, at 250 a clip, 150, that's going to be near 500 to to $1,000. He tapped out. Most of them got no sex at the end of it. None. Some men did. Some men that are getting the sex seem to be doing it in a low quality way as to say, hey, I've been getting sex in a way that I don't even have to do much. AKA, I run game, I don't pay, and then they get the cheeks. Whose fault is that? Is it the man's fault or the woman's fault? Uh, she, this is projection. Continuing. It only benefits men. What men? Be specific. Be specific. What men? And by the way, take a look at this woman. I haven't even started here. This woman is mid. She's a four. She's a 49er. I'm pretty sure if she put some eye ma ma some, some mascara on and a little lip glop, I'm pretty sure it'll look somewhat a little bit better. But this, take a look. She got googly eyes. She pale. I mean, she got a lot working against her. She got a kind of a long face, elongated face. So she's not top tier. However, the men she's giving the cheeks up to are top tier. This is the problem they're running into. They find a top tier guy. He gives her a low effort. She makes exceptions for him. He claps her cheeks. Then she finds a mid tier guy or a low tier guy. She ignores the low tier guy and makes the mid tier guy jump through hoops and hurdles. And then when he says, well, I don't have to pay for $250 date. Then she goes back to the top tier guys, gets the cheeks clap low tier date rinse and repeat 
So she's mad at the top tier guys. It only benefits men because what it sees is women participate in a culture that makes them feel like shit about themselves most. Uh, okay, so let me stop it right here. She says women participating in the culture that makes them feel like shit. This is the problem we have with regret sex. They call it regret rape. So what, what we're dealing with is women looking back at their participation in this. They act like they're enjoying it, but then they realize they don't get the benefit. And then they go back and remove consent after the, after the fact. So this is a removal of consent after the fact. I thought I was getting what I wanted. I participated because, quite frankly, holding out for 90 days ain't going to work. I want to get this guy. I had to do what I had to do. It didn't work. So now I regret all of these past experiences. She's dealing with regret. You liked it at the time. Or, in fact, if you didn't like it at the time, that says a lot about you, okay, that you participated in this multiple times and then figured out, oh, I better close up shop. And that's you. Let me find a gump. Now I can't find gumps. Where are the gumps? The gumps have seen you fuck 8, 10, 15 guys, and they're like, I ain't paying. I'm not paying for you. No, you don't have value. You hit the wall. You're over 30. Okay. So guys that are in that tier, they thought, oh, okay, I'll step up where he left off. No. We watched you. We saw you. We saw you on Instagram. We saw you living your best life. I'm living my best life. We saw that. We saw you up with we saw you with boyfriend number one. Five months later, you deleted all his pictures, boyfriend number two. We saw you out here thotting. We saw you at the club. We saw you shaking your ass. We saw you at the tourist spots. We saw you get flown out. We saw you. Don't act like we didn't see you. We saw it. But then you're like, well, well, these guys need to wait. We'll go get back, get to that in a minute. Okay, let's continue. To the time that benefits men and the way they want to have sex without ever asking us for our needs. All right, so now you want your needs met in the bedroom. Well, that's going to be problematic. Okay, that could be the man's fault for sure. I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you this one. Because there are some guys that they're not proficient in bed. Some guys don't care. Some guys just want to get their whistle wet. So I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But that's a decision you made. And when did you think that that was going to change? So now you're sitting here saying they don't care about our needs. That's not a shock. That's most men, even in marital sex. So you're going to have to figure that out. Women take a lot more connection and a lot more time to warm up. Casual sex doesn't afford that time. You might get a couple rounds and that's it. You're not going to get much cuddle. You're not going to get much affection and, and passion and planning. No, you're not going to get any of that flirting. It, there's no need for it from men at the top tier. So no. They're going to get their five strokes. They're going to get their friction and they're going to bust and they're going to be satisfied. You, on the other hand, they don't care about. So I, I can understand that from her perspective. Yeah, I'll give her a half a point or what we like or what feels like pleasure for us. Most men don't care about that. Not only that, most men don't have the stamina or the makeup for it either. And then the last part about it, which I'll deduct a half a point from that half point. Most women are diff most women are different because they get off different ways. Some women get off by the friction. Some women get off by stimulation of the pearl tongue, by the of the the love button. Some women need the G spot hit. Some women need a little bit of Lily Lint Lick. Some women need passion and kissing and thrusting. Some women need to get pounded in submission. Some women need to get choked. Some women need to get their hair pulled. Now, if I got three or four women on rotation, I don't know if I have time to remember how everybody gets off. And not only that, not, all, not every woman gets off on sexual pleasure. There's women that don't get off at all. And what they get off on is your pleasure. This is a family show. But some women get off on your pleasure. Some women just are using the sex to get the cuddle. To get the fact that you're pleasured. Yeah. So all women are different. And you can't expect Chad to remember all this shit. So let me get my nut. <laughs> but most times that women are in bed, she's actually proven that they don't get satisfied from the bed experience. They don't. That's why they got toys and, and all kind of uh, things in that top drawer all kind of spinning whirly dervishes and shit like that. I've been saying to you, most time women don't get off on sex. The sex is an exchange. The sex is a reward. The sex is, she's not trying to get pleasure. She, I, I've been saying that for a long time. They're not, every time a woman's, look this up. 90% of the time a woman has sex, she gets no pleasure. Nothing. I don't care what you're doing. You could be drilling her ass. She ain't getting nothing. 
She's getting the fact that she's getting you. She's getting close to you. She's keeping you. She got you interested. She's got you on the hook. She's got something to use against you. She got something that she's giving as an exchange or a pity or something. Hey, let me, let me tell you this because guys don't understand this. Okay, this is why they will say, hey, uh, I got the sex, but I need something extra, a commitment, money. <laughs> and even if they got off, they still be like, well, I need a commitment, money. It's just what it is. And if you ask women, 90% of the time, you did nothing, especially if you did lasted under five minutes. You did zero. You did absolutely nothing. Some want a bonding. Some want to hang out. This is why women will say, can I spend the night? That's an eight-hour connection that she has to you sleeping next to you and the protection that she got via the sex. She got that by giving you the sex. Now she gets to spend the night. Now she gets to cuddle with you and be close to you and and roll over and hug that that she used the sex to get that it's not that great for them <laughs> yeah somebody said it's not the goal and even that's why they'll be like i'm bringing that i'm bringing that i'm gonna put that on the table and therefore i'm gonna get what i want so that's the problem that's the problem with this uh argument she has is that the majority of the time they're getting nothing from it anyway i don't care if he was drilling her have you ever done this look this is a family show yep the foreplay right here he says it wouldn't be the reason for them to be sleeping around with everyone again they're chasing the rabbit they're not getting sexual pleasure they're chasing getting something else from it they're getting the connection the hope that you'll be there a possible commitment they're not getting pleasure from it the majority of the time they're not ask a woman ask them you guys are arguing with me ninja go talk to them you do do, do, you do your homework, and every woman's different. The majority of the time, they get zero from the sex, none. I'm going I'm to tell you this, because some of y'all know this, because some of y'all would like to pleasure women. This is a family show. I want you to listen. Have you ever been with a woman, and she was a little bit difficult, and you were going to town on her? You were going to town. You're going to town on her. And she doing whatever she can. She rubbing herself. She doing this. And she's like, don't stop. What do you hear when you, what do you hear when she says, don't stop? You pound her. You. (laughs) And she like, I'm almost there. Guys, you're 10 minutes in. You sweating. You didn't held back three nuts. You pounding her. You getting raw friction. You losing feeling. And. And she says, don't stop. You'd be like, huh? Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. What you mean? Don't stop. She like, I'm almost there. You like, oh, oh, damn, ninja. You get a side cramp, your hamstring cramping up. And you like, I got to go. What? She like, I'm almost there. Keep it going. Hurry. Just... <laughs> ninja, you like, I tap out, man. Like, how are you close? Did you finish? What the hell? You mean I got to keep going? I was planning on stopping. <laughs> you tired? You sweating? She like almost there, almost there. You like, oh my Lord. <laughs> it ain't even pleasurable to you no more. You just try to fix her up. <laughs> so with that being said, you like, it take a lot. It take a lot of work. And you guys don't realize this. That's why they need toys. Because they can't get off on you ninjas. Because y'all ninjas ain't. And they don't get nothing from they, they they'll get more pleasure from their toys than you ninjas. What they're getting from sex is I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get something out of him. I'm gonna get a commitment, money, whatever it is. That's what I get. Marriage, that's what I get. Ninety percent of the time, they're getting nothing. All right. Now some women are different. Now, this is again. There's gonna be outliers. There's some women that you touch and they bust as soon as you touch. All right. That's that's a difference. That's not all women. That's a that's a very little majority, and there's a reason for that. She really likes you. She's intimate with you. She has a connection. She bonded with you. That is completely different. We're talking about if a guy's, even a high body count, guys will tell you that this is true. Mm. <laughs> All right, I had to say it like that because we got a lot of guys that are disbelievers. I would just say go ask a woman, and not a woman you want intimacy with. 
Not a woman you're interested in. Ask a woman that doesn't do friends and she can be honest with you. She can be honest with you. They're using that to transact. It's the same thing with money. Ninja, you got an emotional connection with your money. Y'all counting pennies. All right? Her, she don't have an emotional connection to your money. She like, give me, spend. Give me, spend. But you're counting dollars and counting pennies and holding receipts on dates. And you're looking at receipts and say, there's money. I need punani. All right? That's the same thing. You got an emotional connection with your money. You work hard for your money. It takes you hours to get your money. It takes her hours to get a nut. <laughs> You count how much you spend in per hour to get pussy. That's how that's what y'all doing. You care about the money. She, on the other hand, cares about the connect. What's she gonna get from the puss? <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, anyway. And every now and then she will find a guy that makes her feel good. Let's continue. And I think that women are pretending to like it 80% of the time. Oh, uh, damn. I didn't even remember that part. But did, did you just hear it? Women are pretending to like it 80% of the time. I just said that, and I don't even remember that from that part. She's not lying. Women are pretending to like it 80% of the time. This is a fact. This is a fact. There you go right there. She don't like it. She don't like the sex part of it. She wants to get something from this. What am I going to get from it? It's always a transaction. I do believe there's women in my life that actually do enjoy it and get benefit from it. But in my experience, it has empowered men to treat women poorly. It has entire empowered men to treat women poorly. What type of men? You got to figure out this is a small percentage of men. And ensure that we don't ask for more and end up in things like situationships, which are born out of hookup culture. And All right. So she's mad that, that when she gives up sex, the man doesn't like when she asks for more, okay? So she's like, hey, these men are mad that I'm opening up to him and then I'm asking for more via the sex. That's exactly what I talked about. She's transacting the sex. Okay, can I have a relationship now? And the guy says no. She's saying that's damaging. The men are taking advantage of her. How? In a pastime, an honest lady would not have gave up the cheats. The hoes gave up the cheats. The charity girls gave up the cheats, but they didn't become wives. They were whores, 304s, hookers, skeezers. Yeah, so you tried to mimic the skeezer or you, did, you tried to undercut the other woman by saying, I'll give you access and therefore I'll get a quicker relationship and you found out it didn't work. So now you said, I didn't transact the relationship and he's the asshole. He's the asshole because he wouldn't give me the relationship, but I gave him the sex. If it was about the sex, a woman would never care about the relationship. I'm going to say that again. If it was, if women were getting pleasure via sex, they would not press upon you for a relationship. They keep you right there and they come and jump on top of you like a pogo stick and go back home. But the reality is most are getting nothing from the sex. They're getting to, they're trying to transact it. And then they're mad when it don't work. All right, why, why are you keeping me as a friend zone? Friends with benefits. What does a friends with benefits situation do? It does that exact thing. She starts off and says it could be about the pleasure. What eventually happens with a friends with benefit? Eventually she'll say, well, the pleasure is nice, but. She'll, tra she'll switch the game. She'll move the goalposts. She'll change the rules. Hey, you know, I, we have been hooking up, and it has been fun. However, it can only be fun for so long. How about a relationship? <laughs> and then what she's trying to do is make guard the guy. Women never feeling like they can ask for what they want in the bedroom and never ask for their emotional needs to be met. See, this is their problem. This is not men. We can't ask for what we want in the bedroom. We can't ask for what we want with the relationship. So our emotional needs never get met. That's not a man's problem. That's a woman's problem. How do you beat that? Stop having sex with the men. I didn't make you have sex with me. 
But now you want me to fulfill your emotional needs afterwards. Well, I'm sorry. Once a man gets the sex, pretty much negotiation is off the table. Okay. <laughs> Negotiations off the table. And all men get is the sort of like vulnerability and intimacy they want without commitment. And yeah, that's what you gave up. When you, let, when you sucked them off and he buttered them tonsils and he put a little bit of that on your tongue, you gave him that. Low effort dating culture, which is so bad in Australia. So hookup culture is a no from me. Raise the bar. It is absolutely in hell. The bar's in hell. I got a question. I always challenge women on this one. I got a question. After you've given up intimacy, what else can you give them? This is the old, what else do you bring to the table? I find that women give up intimacy early on. Sometimes she can transact something, interest, time, attention. She'll stick around for a little bit. The guy will get bored of her sexually. Maybe he says, but I kind of like her, so I'll keep her around. Or she's easy access, I'll keep her around. Let's say the man is a guy you desire. You're going to find out this woman will just keep bringing pussy and presents. I'm going to bring my presence and pussy. And then I'm going to keep hounding you, asking you for an emotional connection. They then don't proceed to bring nothing else. Let me give you an example. Again, this is why it's her fault. Watch this. If a woman wanted to be around, she would start committing the service. I'm going to say this. You have a woman. She comes over. She gives you pussy and presence. You accept it. Then, but you know she wants more. Then she sleeps over. Then what happens is you tell her to leave. Go home. All right. Or you tell her or she tries to sleep around or uh, sleep in late. She wants you to cuddle. She wants you to do shit. But you want to get up. You got to go to the gym. You got to go get some breakfast. You got to walk your dog. You got to go for a hike. You got other things to do. You got another woman coming in. This woman will be mad at you. She's going to be mad. She's going to be like, well, why don't you want to hang out? How come you don't want to cuddle? How come you don't want to do this? Baby, I already have, I already got what I want. Maybe I got a round in, but I got other things to do. Now, I can guarantee, ladies, how you can stick around. How would you stick around? Instead of saying, you didn't hang out with me. You didn't cuddle with me. You didn't want to spend time. You sent me home. I'm going to tell you how you can stick around. First thing you motherfucking do is not sit in that bed, you get up and start crackling bacon. Go get some coffee. Go pick up Starbucks for breakfast. Do something. And then say, hey, I made you some waffles. I made you some pancakes. Let's sit and talk. Now, that opens up another conversation. You want your emotional needs met, but bring them to the table. Now, all of a sudden, I can't resist pancakes. I can't, I'm not turning down pancakes. All right, you can stick around for breakfast. That automatically then gets you to that table, to the connection, right? But you just pop, brought pussy and presents and then brought nothing else. But you went down and made pancakes. But the woman is going to say, you know what? But I don't know what kind of pancakes you got down there. I don't know what you got. Bitch, you don't got Uber Eats. You don't got a car. Hey, back. Hey, baby, I'm coming back with pancakes and egg McMuffins. Okay, I'll be right here. You see what I mean? Then you get that connection. But these women are like, I don't want to feel like I do that. Or they will act like, well, I didn't want to ask you. Or I didn't know what kind of pancakes you made. Or that, I don't know what kind of pancakes you like. Now watch this. If that's the case, if that's what you're bringing, you're bringing in, you're not bringing in anything. You're not putting in any thought. You're not bringing in any service. Okay, if I said the same thing, well, I didn't make a date because I didn't know what restaurant you like to go to. It's lazy. They would never accept that. I didn't make any plans because I didn't know what type of movies you like to watch. I didn't make any plans because I didn't know what type of things you like to do. But them bitches will sit up there and act like they don't know how to make a move and pour a glass of orange juice or go pick up some juice from the store or go buy some sausages. They don't know how to do shit. Well, I didn't know what you like. Them bitches are lazy, and that's why you're not getting what you want. See, here's the thing. If you start doing shit, you stick around long enough. Everybody likes scrambled eggs. And if you don't like scrambled eggs, everybody like bacon. And if there's no bacon in there and y'all lazy ass didn't go up to see if there was bacon in there, you've been here a bunch of times, bitch, make yourself at home. 
But then they want you to just sit around doing nothing with them. Bitch, that's not what I do. I do shit. So why don't you bring me to the conversation? Why don't you bring me to the table? They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. Nah, I don't want to have to do all that. I ain't doing all that. Okay, that's why you don't got a relationship. That's why you're not staying. That's why you're leaving in the morning. That's why you're not here. It's that, it's that simple. <laughs> Make some toast. Get some butter and toast. Get some syrup. Something. Then you would probably stay longer. Then I would have no choice. Then that would go into, all right, you know what? Thank you, baby. I have full stomach. You got a conversation in. You know what? Stick around long enough. We'll go to lunch. All right, you want to go hit some golf balls? I'm Now you're going to get the guy interested, but they don't want to do shit. Make some oatmeal. There's something down there. So here's the thing. They believe they can bring pussy and presents, and that's it. Then when they start doing the other things, well, that's wifely shit. Bitch, you just, you just had sex with me. That's wifely shit, too. Okay, not only that, I'm doing husbandly shit to you. I, I picked you up. I drove you around. I entertained you. I took you to dinner. I took you to a show. And then you're sitting up here going, why you don't want to hang out? <laughs> we, I'm not a hangout type of guy. Nobody is. Guys want to do shit. I want to get on NBA 2K. I want to get on NBA 2K. It'd be nice if I can satisfy you. Okay, you good? All right, stick around. Go stay in there. Go back, go back to sleep if you want to. I'm going to jump on 2K. I gave you a conversation, gave me some service, stick around. But if you're not going to do shit and bring pussy and presents, get out. Get out. Leave. You're interrupting me. You're not providing anything to me. No, you want to open your legs again. Okay, yeah, all right, here's 10 minutes of nut. All right, now. But can you leave now? <laughs> all right, so this is where they got it lost. And they got the nerve to be up here blaming men for hookup culture. We're on your bringing pussy and presents. That's not enough. Mm. Not only that, the longer you stick around, now I got more jobs to do. Well, can you plan lunch? And can you help me do this? And can you pay me for that? And can you do? Now, every time you stick around, you're not giving me service. And then you're asking me to do more things. Well, can we go to dinner? And can we go to a show? And can we do this? And can we schedule a vacation? You sound like a bill. You don't sound like somebody that I want to hang out with. Every time you sitting around and open your mouth, you ask him for something. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new.